Hello, it's Marcia with Then and There. I'm back with another journal, um, junk journal that I wanted to share with you guys. This one is going to be listed in my Etsy shop. Um, huh, what do I need to tell you? <laughs> okay, um, this is, um, I, I called it a concept journal when I was, in my last video I was talking about, you know, I, I was inspired to make something. It's not truly a concept I guess it could be considered one I don't know um, basically there's a a theme to it which runs throughout um, and so that's why I called it that it's uh, however you want to interpret it um, it is made using a recycled repurposed book cover which I took the pages out of the book and added in new ones and some old ones um, which are stitched into the spine. It is six by nine. Well, it's, we'll say six by eight and three quarter. It's not quite nine inches. Um, it has a two and a quarter inch spine. There are four signatures, as you can see. I didn't do anything to the cover other than the interior of it. To the outside, I, I added book corners in these, this copper color, which I scuffed up and marked just to make look older like it'd been around for a while um, I really loved this cover it has the book fabric on it and it is aged it's discolored it is a kind of a gray blue color and I just love the texture of it so I didn't do anything to the cover I wanted it to stay pretty um, simple plain and show all of its wear and tear faded bits and discolored bits. Um, you can see it says Main Currents in American Thought. That was the title of the book. All of that is still there. That is in a gold colored lettering. I used cheesecloth in the interior of the spine just to add some interest to the outside. Um, what else? Okay, so the theme of this book is Faded. It's going to, The title is Faded, as you'll be able to tell by the video. Um, and it, in my mind, it is representative of things that fade over time. What, um, whether that's um, book pages, written text, looks, uh, memories, dreams, plans, things like that. So we will just jump right in. The end pages are this floral paper which I took gesso and faded nearly all of the pages that have any sort of pattern or color to them I have faded with gesso um, just to give it a light faded look there's fabric on the interior of the spine which reinforces that um, and I've also faded that with gesso there's a pocket here and I used a faded text also in the book to create these um, sayings and quotes. This one says, you can't choose what stays and what fades away. That creates a little tuck spot. This was a watercolor painting, which I put gesso over and it it's, um, blurred it and faded it. And now it's nearly unrecognizable, which is fine because that's what I was going for, sort of. Um, a little um, bit of a book not really a booklet, just a couple pages here with some lace stitched together. This was an old bank deposit slip um, from the 60s, a piece of lace and some cardstock up top there stitched together. Pocket with some trim and crocheted uh, doily, uh, just sort of a patchwork card or tag here. Um, most all of the pages are coffee dyed if they aren't vintage already and I did some bit of collage here with an old hymnal and a doily put some fabric tabs as you could see there are several fabric tabs and trims going throughout um, the book along the pages another one of the um, stitched pages there different pattern papers some um, packing paper with gesso. This is an eco dyed print. Hopefully, I'm still, yeah, <laughs> still in frame. Eco dyed print. You can faintly see a faded leaf pattern there that flips out. This is a book page from a 
um, how to paint type of book. I did some just coffee dyed paper here with a stamp, a collage here with a photograph. This was a printed photograph that I put gesso over to fade and a little ticket which creates a pocket there and I made a tag that says gentle thoughts of you with some trim and lace on there or fabric I should say. The other side of that painting book or book page um, just some papers with interesting patterns on them stitched in there. This was a, a, a sticker that I stuck on there and gessoed over fabric tab. A large tag here with um, pattern paper. Made a journaling card, some fabric on there. It's a little collage. This one says worn and faded images, once lost, now found. It's like an old coat check card. This was a, a photograph from a book, so I just uh, adjusted over that and put it with some fabric stitched around it. This is a vintage um, cabinet card. It is an authentic one. And I love how it, it's faded around the edges. Another smaller pocket in front of this one. This just has a receipt stub in it. Some faded wallpaper, another eco dyed print, or an eco print, a index card which I did a bit of a collage on. It says time passes slowly and fades away, Bob Dylan. Some writing paper. This is a paper bag which I gessoed and put a little journaling card in there with a butterfly stamp. It's another faded photograph and I did a collage on a book page here. This one says it all fades away in the end. Um, just, you know, friendship is kind of what that one represents. It could be what you want. Sometimes they fade as well. Um, this is not an authentic pi picture. It is a print, but um, there is one similar in the book that is the original. A um, plant print, <laughs> which I faded. Can't talk. Lots of space to write in this journal, as well as pockets to put things. Just a tag here. This was a some pet, just some pattern paper, book page. This here is transfer paper, which I stamped on with archival ink so it doesn't come off and um, stitched on some coffee dyed paper for journaling. It's a fabric flip, which I also gessoed over the fabric to fade that away. This is some um, vintage stationery. It has these um, spruce trees on it. Did a little bit of a collage here with a label and just a um, section of a receipt. Um, great place to write. A little collage here on this pocket um, with a vintage receipt. This one I believe was from the 60s or 70s. A uh, uh, coin <laughs> wrapper. <laughs> can't think, which also creates a little tuck spot right there, which I made a tiny little tag with some coffee dyed paper and some collage on it, just because it was open and I wanted to put something in it. <laughs> Another image which I printed and faded <clears throat> and inked around, put that there, and then this little um, saying which I um, printed, um, day fades to night, the better to see starlight, night skies fade to day to bring what life may. There's a couple little tuck spots here. This one is a printed image, vintage image. This one is an original postcard from 1917. It is not in English. Part of it is and part of it is not. So I believe it is German. I'm not sure. Um, a children's music book, pattern paper, some lace on this tab here. This book has approximately 144 pages both sides. It is a large book and has lots of pages. So, um, some coffee dyed paper. I did some stamping on. It says memories. 
This is some pattern paper, which I made a little bit of a tuck spot out of. A little bit of um, stamping there, which I intentionally made faded as well. A vintage image, which I printed, collaged with some wallpaper. This is another piece of different kind of wallpaper, which I faded with gesso and made a little pocket. A vintage, um, uh, what's it called? Bridge scorecard there. A very sheer piece of uh, chenille fabric flip there. Another stamp, a bit of lace. This is a journaling card, which I put the coffee dyed paper on the back, a little bit of lace, and it is an image of cotton that is faded with gesso. It's more of that um, large sticker put on there on the children's music paper. Bit of fabric and paper collage here. This one says, I watched with breaking heart as you slowly faded away. That was Nicholas Sparks quote. Bit of collage down here on this pocket and some uh, seam binding. This is an envelope which I stitched some fabric on and this image of a clock which is faded and it serves as a tuck for the flap of the envelope. And then I created this journaling card and it says faded and then lists memories, plans, dreams, pictures, loves, lives, looks, words, all taken by time. And um, that correlates with the clock image there. Pattern paper and writing paper. Another one of the um, just stitched pages. A image which I really grunged up and um, after fading it, I really grunged it up and made it look old. Collaged it on here with some pattern paper. Made a little tuck here with a collage of some lace and um, papers. And created a little journaling card here with um, just book page and die cuts. Um, Another plant print. It's an old book page. Some fabric, a paper doily. We have some uh, lace type fabric, some eyelet lace, and an and a sorry, it's a pocket <laughs> with a tag in it, which I did some more of that black and white sticker. It's got some seam binding um, at the top for a tab. That tucks in there, and behind it is another little text spot with a um, recipe divider card. It says pies and pastries. The other side of the paper doily. This is the uh, um, the original um, vintage image. I love the beautiful aging and fading and the um, sepia tone. It is from a can't think photo album from the 19, late 20s, I believe, um, from, from what I can gather from the some of the stuff that's in it. Um, so I just left that as is. This is just a piece of printed uh, ephemera. It says, shipper of fresh eggs. I thought that went well with this because they're all these ladies in overalls on the farm doing some farm work. They may well have been um, land girls during World War II, but I'm not certain. Like I said, the time frame doesn't quite seem right to me. Um, <clears throat> uh, some stamping there on this book page. Suddenly can't think anymore. A piece of lace here with some paper, which creates a tuck for this envelope. This is um, another piece of that stationery. It has the trees on it. I did some stamping. And then I just left the left the page. I aged it a bit more, added some ink, and just left it as is for journaling. This is that stitched page, and this is an old. Um, Quiz for Bridge. A lady was, I got this from an estate sale. Um, I believe it was from the, actually I can't even say for sure the age. I don't think it's super old. Maybe the 40s. 
um, but she took a course on how to play bridge and I just liked that it has some great natural aging on there I didn't add any ink or anything to this thought it could be fun for collage or to just journal on the other side of it I have clipped in this this is a um, divider it's very sturdy and could be used as a um, writing board if there's something on the other side of the page that is bulky or what have you you can easily just slip that behind it and write in your book and there it is it's a large um, book like I said it has lots of pages in it but I didn't bulk it up too much as you can see it still um, comes together which means you can still fit quite a bit in it so if you wanted to add some more of your own ephemera you certainly could so there is that journal um, faded Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.